In 2017, I started the Chromebook Classroom Podcast. Since the podcast is all about using a Chromebook, I felt that I should use a Chromebook to produce the podcast. Hi, my name is John Sowash. I help teachers and students use Google products in the classroom. Now, most of the great audio editing tools like GarageBand and Audacity aren't accessible on a Chromebook. So I had to set out and find good tools that would work with Chrome OS. Here's what I came up with. For simple edits, I use some very basic editing tools from 123apps.com. Now you can trim your clip, change the speed, pitch, and combine clips together. You won't be able to edit an entire podcast using these tools, but you can use the basics. I mostly use 123 apps when I need to make small adjustments to an ad read from one of my sponsors, like trimming out an awkward pause or a keyboard click at the end of a clip. The best thing about 123 apps is that it's completely free to use and you don't need to log in or install anything. It just works. It's a great tool for classroom use. This editing scene tool is great for simple classroom projects or anyone who is new to audio editing. If you need a little more precision and power, check out Twisted Wave Studio. 123 Apps only lets you clip the beginning or end of a recording, but with Twisted Wave, you can remove short or long sections from anywhere in the audio timeline. Twisted Wave is used by professional voice actors to do detailed cleanup of audio clips, like removing ums, ahs, and awkward pauses. You can also make adjustments to clips that are too loud or too soft. Working with Twisted Wave is really easy. Just listen, select, and remove. Twisted Wave is free to use on files up to five minutes in length. You can also use Twisted Wave to convert audio files into different formats and bit rates. This can get a bit technical, but if you're doing high quality audio work, these export options can be really helpful. Now, the downside of Twisted Wave is that it doesn't allow multi-track editing. You can't use Twisted Wave to overlap clips together. For that, you need to use Soundtrap. Soundtrap is without question the best web-based audio editing tool available today. This is the software that I use to edit the Chromebook Classroom podcast. Soundtrap is a multi-channel audio editor, which means I can drop an intro, music, ad spot, interview, outro into the editor, mix them together in one track. One of the most impressive features you'll find in Soundtrap is the interactive transcript. This feature transcribes the audio into text, making it easier to look through a long interview to find a specific moment. Editing the transcript will also edit the audio file, which is pretty cool. Soundtrap is perfect for editing podcasts, but you can also use it to create music. There's a variety of musical loops and it supports audio input from MIDI instruments. If you need to work collaboratively, Soundtrap has you covered. Multiple people can edit and record inside of Soundtrap at the same time. This makes it ideal for musical collaborations and classroom projects. Now you can create up to four projects using Soundtrap for free. After that, you'll need to delete one or look at upgrading to a paid user account for about $100 a year. Soundtrap also offers a special education plan to help teachers manage student-created projects. Before you can edit audio with a tool like Soundtrap, you need to record your audio files. Check out this related video with my three favorite tools for recording short and long audio clips on a Chromebook.